Hello, everyone. I am a junior student of Chenzhou College, Southeast University in China, and I major in artificial intelligence. Today, I would like to share my paper, Expansion of the CT Scan's Image Set based on the pre-training DC GAN for improving the, in the performance of the CNN. Diagnosis of COVID-19 based on CT scans images using artificial intelligence can massively reduce medical power, time, resources, and reduce misdiagnosis rate. However, there are few relevant image set publicity available at present, which is not conductive to the training of the models, such as classification. And transfer learning has been extensively considered in image classification but less utilized in image generation. This work attempted to expand its data set with discriminators using deep convolutional generative adversarial network of image net pre-training models and verify the significance of the pre-training model for generating image veracity. A DC GAN model using the image net pre-training model just a ResNet 18 and a DC GAN network without the pre-training model generated 100 positive and 100 negative images to expand the original data set respectively. And the images were classified with using a convolutional neural network binary classifier and the accuracy improved from 19, 92.67 to, uh, to uh, 80, 85.33 uh, percentage after adding the pre-training model. Well, um, the, da the data set used in the, this study is from the US UCSD study group contains uh, 349 CT scans images of COVID-19 positive cases and 300 97 CT scan images of negative cases. Ne negative cases include CT scans from healthy subjects as well as patients with other types of lung disease. The dimension of this image reached from uh, 153 to uh, 1853 50, 50, 50 height and 124 to 1040. Uh, 485 weeks, respectively, and were adjusted to 224 plus 224. The sample of images for both ca categories of this data set are shown in figure 1 and figure 2. And in addition, the positive and negative data sets were classified into a training set and a test set with a ratio of 8, 8 to 2, respectively. And these images were processed according to a grayscale image to avoid the interference of the RGB color and to improve the accuracy. And the model I used is based on DC again, but I made a little improvement that is to introducing the uh, ImageNet per training model. Uh, the discriminator is the ResNet 18 model with ImageNet weights plus two linear layers, just a sigmoid function and a softmax function shown in figure five. And if the final output value is one, it is judged to be the real, fig real image. If it is real zero, it is judged to be the generator image. And figure, four, figure six is a generator with imaginary pre-training model. Uh, the structure of the generator is uh, the data is normalized by batch normed uh, tools, which allow the data to be normalized without the net network performance being unstable due to the excessive data size before the relue is performed. And, the, and then the upsample was performed, passed them through a convolutional layer. The number of the input channel is 128. The number of the output channel is 128. The size of the convolutional kernel is 3 plus 3. The stride of the convolutional kernel is 1, and the padding value is 1. Perform another normalization of the data and then pass it through a liquid relu active action activation function. 
Then the upsample was performed, passed through, through a convolutional layer. The number of the input channel is 128. The number of the output channel is 64. The size of the convolutional kernel is 3 plus 3. The stride of the convolutional kernel is 1. The padding value is 1. And then the data is normalized by the batch norm and upsampled again. Then it passes through a convolutional layer. The number of the input channel is 64. The size of the convolutional kernel is 3 plus 3. And the stride of the convolutional kernel is 1. And the padding value is 1. Finally, the data will then pass through a, a tense function act activation layer. And the, and the CLM bio reclassifier is just like figure 7. And, uh, these are the figures generated by the DCGAN with imagined pre-training model and without the pre-training model. Here's just the uh, comparison. After 100 images was generated based on the positive long images by this again model, whose discriminator is based on the imaginary protruding weight. And uh, the figure on the last slide provides a sample of the generated data set. Similarly, um, 100 images were generated on the negative long images. Also, 100 positive images and 100 negative images uh, images were generated by the DCG model, whose classifier is not based on the protruding model. And these generated images were separately added to the original data image set for data set expansion, and then classified using a CN binary classifier to output the accuracy. The accuracy of the model with protruding model shown in table one was found to be 85.33 percentage, while the accuracy of the model without the pre-training model was 82.67 percentage with an increase of 2.66 percentage. The improvement of the class classifier accuracy showed that image generated by the DCGAN model of which the discriminator with imaginative pre-training model are more realistic. ImagineNet is a large ImagineNet database containing millions of pictures and more than 100 different categories. By pre-training the model on the ImagineNet, the model can learn a large number of generated features relevant to the image recognition task, which makes the model more gener 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 generalizable to new tasks. Thus, the pre-training mo model using um, ImagineNet can improve the accuracy of image classification. Using the grad cam visualization in just uh, figure 9 and figure 10 to analyze and compare the focus on the image of the discriminator, well, the red area represents the focus of the discriminator. It can be found that the discriminator using ImageNet pre-training model is more, ac is more accurate in capturing image details. For example, uh, just uh, for the same image, the discriminator without the pre-training model focuses more on the white position of the edge, which is almost beyond the loss. This experiment illustrates that even though the ImageNet and the long pictures are irrelevant, there are still some features that can be transferred and the weights of the pre-training model are still useful. In addition, it is also demonstrated that the transfer learning can improve the effectiveness of the image generated by GAN, expanding the use of the ImageNet pre-training model. The shortcoming of this experiment is that the pre-training model only used the ResNet 18, thus the validation of the transfer learning is not necessarily a uh, representable. Various pre-training models such as VGG can be also tried in the future to verify the application of the ImageNet pre-training model and transfer learning in GAN discriminator. Um, that's all for my uh, presentation. Thank you.